like, look who I run into, but Olympic champion, NCAA champion. I, I think you won everything, dude. Is there, have you yeah. ever, there's like, thing, you lose sometimes, though. Sometimes I lose, Like, yeah. in the last month, you've lost. I don't think people realize that. Yeah. It's Come not NCAA, that. though. Not NCAA, yeah. Just, just Georgian? It was, uh... No, Azerbaijan, semifinals, yeah, World Cup. Listen, I gotta put this out there. It feels like those guys game you a lot. Yeah. Do you they, feel that? You feel that a little bit? A decent bit. I think they, uh, I mean, the, the tactic seems to be make it as close as it can be until there's about a minute left in the second period and then try and shoot and get a takedown. So. Snake a takedown? Snake a takedown, yeah. That's what I feel like, man. I'm like, but you know what? You feel like you really grow yeah. you, from those losses. Like, you lost to uh, Gatsalov last year right. before, and you lost to uh, who lost? Yeah, Kazumov. Kazumov. Yeah. I mean, you lost to all these guys. I mean, you beat you beat a guy for an Olympic gold that you lose to three, four months earlier. Yeah. Um, in looking at those match how much do you grow when you wrestle guys and they beat you internationally in the game? Yeah, I grow a lot. I grow a lot from losses and wins. As long as, long as I'm wrestling quality opponents, I feel like I become a better wrestler and. Uh, I mean, I was, I was wrestling that guy from Azerbaijan a lot better than I was a year ago. So I was happy about my performance. Um, winning and losing, no big deal to me. Either way, really, just want to compete to the best of my ability, get all my wrestling on the mat, which I still need to get better at. But, yeah, I learned a lot. Hey, I look at it, it seems like you're always looking to try and improve in areas. What's the area of focus right now you're trying to improve it? I watch your folk style. I mean, I think you quadrupled your uh, pin, career pin toes. Yeah, yeah. But where do you try and get better freestyle-wise? Where do you try and get better folk style-wise? I think the most important thing for me right now is scoring from a front headlock when I get someone underneath me, uh, faking in the ties, and then just a couple better setups. Because like you said, guys are trying to game plan me, so I need to be able to get through their hands and score on them early, which makes it a lot difficult for them to get back into the match. Medbury, Big Ten Finals. He looks like he's got about 30 or 40 pounds on you at least, right? Yeah. Just, and yeah he's a that. horse, man. He's a huge guy. You really pushed him around. You were dominating the action. He gets a takedown in the end. You know, you still dominate the match, though. Yeah. What do you take away from a match like that, and how do you build off that going into NCAAs? Hopefully, I wrestle Matt Berry again in the finals. That's a guy I would like to wrestle in the finals. Uh, I mean, just I think I can shoot a little bit more and set him up a little bit more with fakes. We've wrestled a lot, though. We've trained together. He was at the Olympic Games, Tervelo's training partner, so I wrestled with him a lot as well. We know each other pretty well. Uh, but the same thing, just a couple technical things and a couple things that I can really can control, like my shot out, my shot output, and stuff like that. But hopefully, I get to wrestle him again next week. Speaking of Olympic Games, I think he might have something with you. What do, what do we got here? Can we see it? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're looking yeah. at the medal. I, I just. Okay, so when we look at this, uh, I'm sure you, I gotta put it out there. You don't seem like a guy who, that doesn't, you're not tied to that much, are you? No, I mean, events like this, coming out here uh, to be honored at the high school state tournament, you know, they asked me to bring it, so I bring it, but I don't really like taking it too many places. It draws a lot of attention sometimes, so yeah, normally just keep it at my house. You don't put it in your backpack, in your front seat, right when yeah. you get back, it gets the window smashed out? Uh, no. Like Logan did? Yeah, Logan, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. All right, uh, last thing, you know, coming out this event, your life has really changed since August, obviously. Yeah. You know, youngest, uh, you know, a big big guy to win for the United States, everything. Henry, was Henry younger when he won than you? I'm the youngest. You're yeah. the youngest. You and Henry are the, you know, the, that's amazing. Yeah. Your yeah. life has changed. Whirlwind, you know, situation. What has life been like since then? Going to classes, you know, kissing babies, shaking hands. What's it been like for you? Yeah. Right after I won the Olympics, I texted my academic advisor and I was like, I'm going to need all online classes for the first semester because I, I need some time to kind of relax, not go to class. So he made that happen. And then now it's pretty normal again. Not as many events, kind of just training, getting ready, just like I normally would for the NCAAs. And then uh, going to compete at the Pan Am Championships May 6th and then the World Team Trials June 9th and 10th. So uh, all that's pretty normal, but definitely a lot more people on campus know me, which is pretty cool. Uh, had some awesome opportunities that I took advantage of. But other than that, the wrestling's pretty similar. Still friends, family, all that, pretty similar. All right, you're coming back for your senior year. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm coming back. Yeah, I made that decision. I'm coming back. All right. You missed some dual meets sometimes when you guys lost the national yeah. duels. You're not, you didn't wrestle in the duel. I didn't s notice I didn't say you guys lost because you didn't wrestle. I didn't say that. That's probably why, though. <laughs> but, but when you look at that, and you, you know, you s what is that relationship like with the team and Coach Ryan and the coaching staff when you have to miss to, to trace ultimately your passion, your dream, you know, freestyle wrestling? Yeah, I mean, we, we schedule things out way, I mean, in September, me and Coach Ryan and the other coaches on the staff made my schedule. So we looked at the NCAA schedule, we looked at the freestyle wrestling schedule, and uh, all that stuff was planned. I knew I was going to be missing Iowa. I thought maybe I could fly back and get there for the Cornell match, but there wasn't a flight early enough, or I probably would have been there wrestling. Um, and really, the, the biggest thing is Big Tens and NCAAs. If I wrestle in those two events, then those are the biggest tournaments of the year, things that really matter. I want to be there and help the team as much as I can, but at the same time, it's important for my growth to be able to wrestle those international guys. Last Everybody bit. understands it. My friend, teammates, they get it. it. Yeah, they get it. I get it. Yeah. I like really get it when people yeah. tra like if people trash you. I'm like, wait a minute, you don't get it. This is there's a bigger thing here. Yeah. Um, UFC. I know you went to the fight where yeah. Mayo, Mayo took, uh, he, he defended his title in Cleveland. Is that on the horizon, or is this just strictly a wrestling group for the next decade? Or don't you know? I, I'm not 100% sure I like the UFC. I, I've been doing like a little bit of boxing, um, a, a lot more wrestling than boxing, but uh, we'll see what happens. I went to another fight out in Vegas, the Cody No Love fight versus Dominic Cruz. That was sweet. Uh, they do a great job with the event, so I'm not 100% sure. You got anything else for me? Good. Thanks for the time. Enjoy the tournament. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you.